For anyone who doesn't know how to rebuild the lock, um, basically, this is how I do it. So basically all you need is some long tweezers. You need a follower, which follows the chamber or the housing of where the plug's going to sit, basically. This just stops the pins from coming down and allows you to slide the plug in without pins flying everywhere. If you get what I mean. You can do it with other things like Sharpie markers and everything else, but it's best just to try and get some, some kit like. Um, so basically what I do is, I'll get the housing first, and I'll put three springs in the front. So one, two, and three. And then what I do is, I'll spin the lock around. So I've done one, two, and three. I'll spin the lock around and I'll put the the last however many springs is from behind because I don't have to stretch through as far. All right? Where have you gone? Put that in five. And then what I'll do is I'll slide my plug follower in. Being careful I don't hit any of the springs. And then obviously I'll fill the, the first were well, the back two pins so in this case I'll start at four push her back in like that so that's four I'll put five in like that. and then I'll slide the follower forward which would then take me to there's the first spring there's the second so I'll be up to number three because I've already put four and five in. So then I'll put three in first, work my way forward. Bring the follower forward till you're on driver number two. Pop her back in. Like that. And then lastly but not leastly, we'll put number one in. Like that. So that's now fully populated. We'll put that to one side. And then we'll put the key pins back in. So starting at one. One will drop in. Two will drop in. As will three. Four. And five. Actually that one there was a tapered key pin. Probably something I forgot to mention. I think they're all tapered key pins. Yeah, they are. The all so all of these here are tapered key pins, and what tapered key pins do is they've got like a little chamfer around the top. So when you're picking them, they get stuck in the chamber above. So it's kind of a security pin if you like. But that's all populated. So now what's a good option to do, or a good thing to do, good practice, good work and practice, should I say? Put the key in, and you want to make sure. That everything is sitting nice and flat. So when you put this in there, you know for a fact that the lock is going to operate. Like that. You just see it opens and shuts. And then you just put your tailpiece on. Like that. Pop your screws back in. And then all you've got to do is tighten it. So, a little added bonus for anyone who doesn't know how to rebuild a lock. Doesn't take too long. That's it. That's the lock fully put back together. And it fully operates. Happy days. Tell me if you like to see stuff like this little added extras um i don't mind doing them but yeah see you on the next one